Fish your boy, T G Tone! Hola! It's your boy, T C Talks! T C Fitness! And I am here! Y'all already know what's coming! Hola! Back at it again! Yes, sir! I'm here, man! With another video. Now, today's video we're here to talk about 200 plus days of my semen retention experience, bruh. Shout outs to everybody worldwide on their semen retention journey. Shout outs to everybody worldwide on their NoFab journey. You know what I'm saying? If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button so that this video reaches more people. Let's get these videos out to more people. You know what I'm saying? I know my, my numbers been, been a little bit iffy, but it's all right. It's all right. All just inside. Um, also, I want to say rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. You know, uh, that was very, very tough to hear of his passing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I do want to touch on a couple things about that as well in today's video. Now, like I said, if you are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe. If you're a returning supporter, thank you for returning to another video of mine. Make sure you hit the like button and let's get this video started. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about just to get it out the way is um, the Kevin Samuel situation. Now, from what I'm hearing, from what I'm seeing on, you know, YouTube and things of that nature. Uh, number one, he passed away from cardiac arrest, which is very, very scary, you know. And I've read that he would consume three Red Bulls a day. Now, I stopped drinking pre-workouts. I'm going to keep it real. You know, shout out to my girl for encouraging me to stop drinking those things. You know what I'm saying? Because um, sometimes, you know, those energy drinks can really mess with your heart. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real with you. And... I know for myself, I used to have, you know, heart problems like in like 2019. And I was, you know, I was scared, you know, like all jokes aside, bruh. So stay away from those energy drinks, please. And pay attention to the energy you have around you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I also, you know, heard that he had a woman that was around him. And who knows what she could have did. You know, but please pay attention to the energy around you. Um, and don't just let anybody around. You, you know what I'm saying? But a huge uh, RIP to Kevin Samuels. Um, my condolences to his family. My condolences to everybody that enjoyed, you know, his content and things of that nature. Now, we're going to talk about my retention journey. First things first, bro. Shout out to everybody retaining their life force energy. I say that because semen retention is very, very powerful. I will continue to say it every single day. And you learn so much about this, this uh, journey, you know, this experience. You learn so much about yourself. You learn so much about this world. You see how controlled this world really is. And you see how people are so, you know, eager to use excuses as to why they cannot do something instead of saying that they can do it, you know? Now, woo, where do I start, bruh? First thing I want to talk about is uh, delayed gratification. Now, I tell y'all all the time that everybody loves instant gratification and nobody really takes the time out to delay you know, the gratification or takes the time out to really learn about the power of instant, or not instant, excuse me, but delayed gratification. Now, I've been feeling so much better with having delayed gratification, you know, because it teaches you how to become more disciplined. And it teaches you how to not really want that dopamine from something so fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, you would rather wait then rush, you know, if that makes sense. Now, how does this help you out in life? Let's really understand, bro, and understand that, like I just said, everybody be wanting things instantly. So with your goals, you know what I'm saying, with the things that you may want to manifest into your reality, just with your life in general, 
Delayed gratification will teach you how to be patient. It will teach you how to not really rush things and it will teach you how to trust, you know, trust yourself, trust the process. And there's no point in rushing, you know? You would rather work hard for it, grind, and not rush, you know? But delayed gratification is very powerful. I can't, I can't sleep on it. The reason why people are still addicted to pornography is because they want instant gratification, you know? The reason why people are still addicted to touching themselves is because what? They want instant gratification. They want the pleasure right now, you know what I'm saying? But it's messing up, you know, the way that you view this reality because everything is not about instant gratification. It's just not, you know? Um, another thing that I, I have written down, you know, is you have to put this energy into other areas of your life, bro. There are so much things to do in this world. There are so many things that you can accomplish. There's so much growing and learning and evolving to do that you shouldn't be content with just sitting around doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? With your life or having a bare minimum. You should always strive for more. You should always want more for yourself. And you have unlimited amount of energy to put towards things. You know what I'm saying? Um, one thing you can't get, get back is time. So that's why I learned to put my energy into the things that help me value my time. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna put my energy into something that's gonna waste my time, you know? And that's what you gotta learn on this, on this journey, you know, on this experience. It's valuing your time and putting your energy into other areas. That's how you will reap the benefits of being on retention, you know, and being on no fat. If you just sitting around doing nothing and la la land, you're gonna eventually uh, have that idle time to do nothing and you're gonna go back to your old ways, which is corny. You're supposed to be becoming a new version of yourself, a better version of yourself. And you're supposed to be learning how to transmute your own sexual energy into different areas of your own life. You know, that's how you create a better reality for yourself. The third thing I have written down is I learned to trust myself a lot more. And I learned to trust in the Most High God a lot more. Now, I tell y'all all the time that God is going to shield you. He's going to guide you. He's going to mold you into a better version of yourself. God sees you working. God is going to make sure that you're good at all times, you know? But you have to trust in yourself. God wants you to trust in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Trust your intuition. My intuition has be become like 10 times as stronger being on retention, you know? Um, sometimes a lot of people, you know, they second guess themselves or they don't trust their intuition too much or they don't trust their gut feeling. You need to trust it. It's there for a reason. You know what I'm saying? And um, another thing that you may need to do on this, on this journey is control your thoughts. You know, control your thoughts. Uh, you ever ask yourself, like, where do negative thoughts come from? Or why do you all of a sudden get negative thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Like, where? Where do they come from? They come out They come out of nowhere, you know? But you can easily switch that to, you know, more positive thoughts, you know, wanting better for yourself. Thinking of life more positive, you know, positively. Changing your perspective on life. And not feeding into the negative thoughts, you know? Um... Because what you focus on grows. So focus on what you want. If you want to be a better you, if you want to create a better life, you need to focus on your positive thoughts. Because your negative thoughts, you honestly, you don't have to give them energy. You don't have to feed into it. You don't have to do anything. It's just a thought, you know? But um, once you, you know, control your thoughts, you have more positive thoughts, you think more positive about life, you... You know, you think more positive about yourself and things of that nature. Trust when I say, you will start to slowly but surely change your own life for the good. Right? Everything starts from within, bro. And everything starts with your attitude, too. That's one thing people don't really talk about. Having a positive attitude. You gotta have a positive attitude even through negative situations, you know? 
But um, these past, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, 200 days, I've been, I've been learning a lot about myself, you know? I'm not attached to a lot of things. I've learned to detach, bro. You know? Um, when you learn to detach, you learn to just let things flow. You put your faith and your trust into the Most High God, and you know that what's for you will always be for you, or what's not is just not. You know? Um, so when I say detach, I mean don't hold on to things. Don't hold on to negative situations. Don't hold on to, you know, negative people. Don't hold on to things like that, bro. Anything uh, negative somebody might have said about you in the past, don't hold on to it. Because if anything, you're going to be holding yourself. Like, you're going to be weighing yourself down instead of feeling light as a feather, you know? So I just learned to let a lot of things go. I let I learned to let life flow, you know, and um, I don't stress about anything, bro. Like I'm genuinely just happy. Even with my YouTube channel, my numbers may not be super duper high and all of that, but I learned to just man, it is what it is, bro. It's out of your control. Continue to let things flow. Be consistent on your end, and you know, keep learning about yourself. This is just one aspect of my life. You know, YouTube is just one, literally one aspect of it. But off this camera, I'm continuing to improve internally, you know, and believe in myself and trust in myself every single day, you know. So don't take retention for granted. Continue to delay your gratification. That's the only way that you're going to really stop yourself from going back to your old ways or stop yourself from relapsing and all that extra stuff is you need to have the delayed gratification mentality instead of the instant gratification mentality, you know? Always understand that you have to put this energy into other areas of your life. You have to transmute the energy. It must go from here to here to here to here. Then you restart again and you do it again and again and again. You keep transmuting you keep getting better. It's called consistency, you know? It's called planting good seeds. And last but not least, trust yourself and trust in the Most High God at all times. You know what I'm saying? Once again, rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. That is a very, very tough loss for the people. And um, please, y'all, protect your energy and stay away from them energy drinks, bro. True say. Because your heart, bro, it must be protected. All jokes aside, you know? But my condolences, like I said, once again, to his family members. And everybody that, you know, enjoyed his content. Um, I'm going to make another video on speaking about the Von to Cut situation as well. Because that's that's different. That's different. And being on YouTube, being on, you know, this platform, you're supposed to set a better example for the people. You know what I'm saying? But that being said, bro. Like I said, man, make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. Also, please, man, please um, leave a thumbs up if you gain something from the video. And um, I'll be back at it with some more content. It's your boy TC Talks. Yes, sir.